from home. Trust me on this one, okay? Plus, I'm the best broker you ever had, and you know it. Did you eat? Fred, this stock is a great investment. Huh? Okay. Terrific. 5,000 shares. Covered as soon as the bell rings in the morning. I look awful. Bye, pal. My skin is turning pea green. Smog. Pizza. What? I said we ordered a couple of... George! Hi, Chuck Yeoman here. How you doing, pal? Damn it, nobody ever rinses this thing. Stay where you are. I called 911, Dad. Good. Hey, Rachel, Chuck, it's me, Morris. Morris Alexis from next door. Morris, was yeah, that you sorry. outside the window? Uh, yeah. What the hell were you doing out there? Well, I got locked out of my house, you see. So you climb across my ass, right? Just 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 so you did not say something here. Take the bath. Take the bath. Cops are quick. You don't need them, eh? Jeez. Thank you, dear. Oh, my God. Sorry, fellas, it's a false alarm. My wife thought she heard her saw an intruder. Turns out to be our kid. drive like that. That boy must have been going, what, 60 miles an hour. Mom. I mean it. I don't like him. I don't like what you're wearing. What's, What's wrong wearing? with you tonight? I mean, first you think he's a rapist in the window. Now Lisa, you think my friends are do gonna... not change the subject, Lisa. Mom, okay, uh, okay, seriously, don't get mad. Okay, I'm listening. I think you're overreacting. I think maybe it's time you saw a shrink. No, don't, I'm, no I'm serious. I mean, he wasn't going 60 miles an hour, you know. Good night. I hate the way she smiled, that damn teenage smirk. She's going down the tubes, Chuck. You know that, don't you? Oh, that's right, Chuck. Ignore me. 
I'm not. I'm trying to read his article. It's okay. I'm used to it. Don't open that. The alarm's on. Yeah. Locked in. Fake air. Look, I know my boy from the big city can take it, but Chuck, I'm telling you, I am from Lake Country. Ah, the glories of the Midwest speech. Listen, try to get my wife. Hello? The assailants proceeded across the street to a coffee shop where they held Hello? hostage before surrendering. Yeah, can you hear me? Later. The weather for the LA Bay yeah. will continue warm. Find out if she can pick up Stevie. Keep temperatures in the high 90s. Now I've been stuck for an hour now. Air quality will be poor for all areas. No. Not, not a chance. I'll be lucky to get home by 7. Oh, unless it. Hello? Hello? Valley Boulevard all the way to the Pomona Freeway. Ten. It's 10,000 down, Mr. Franklin. Rachel. Yeah. Caravan on Tuesday, 11 sharp. When the Johnson escrow closes Thursday. Well, see, First National will give you a mortgage. That's an escrow. Nine and a half percent adjustable. What? Sure they will. Believe me. Chuck, that house on the lake, what? the Jackson Place. Okay, this is crazy, but <laughs> it's for sale. Lake. But I told the agency. Jackson, yes, honey, it's a steal. That, and it's probably rotting. Huh? I mean, forget it, right? It's it's ridiculous. We can't just. I mean, we're. It would be totally oh, irresponsible. The place on Tomahawk Lake. Yes. Mm. Anyway, I told them no, absolutely not. We're, we're just not interested. You really can't be serious about this. Goodbye, Payne Weber. Goodbye, Dad, L.A. Dad, I just want to be a redneck. Molecule. You know, we ought to get a wood-burning stove. Yeah, yeah. I still don't believe this. Dad, what's the difference between a chemist and a biochemist? We're well, going to be poor. Lisa, your father is going to make windsurfing boards. Oh, and what are you going to do, Mom, Big Brad? This isn't the 60s. Your mother's going to run the business. Put your seatbelt on. You know, you buy a falling apart shack, you rent a beautiful house in the suburbs to some family that'll for sure trash it. Lisa, if we hate it, we will go back next year. I hate it. Can we go back? Put your seatbelt on. Over your mouth.
Porch is tilted. They really knew how to build houses in those days. Look at his door. Look at this. Yeah, it's 10 feet thick. Beautiful. Water's resting. Jackson's left this behind for us. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's what happened. That's why they left it turned against the wall in the staircase, Mom. If they want it back, I'll send it to them. Well, Tana's in the country, and she's already a thief. <laughs> you are going to love it here. You hear me? Now, trust me. with a baby like that cost. I'm gonna start him at 550, Dwayne. Somebody could break their neck on it. They don't allow no loud motors on the lake. It doesn't have a motor, Mr. Fennelman. I just thought I'd tell you. We had a couple of city kids last summer, and they tried to set up a speedboat concession. You remember that, Dwayne? Yeah, we booted them out fast. We got rid of them. Yeah. And poor little Kathleen Fitzsimmons. When her sailing boat overturned, it hit her smack on top of the head. Never been quite right since. The boards are foam-filled. Looks like Tomahawk Lake's gonna make you a lot of money. Hope so. Hi! <laughs> 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 ah. Hi! Evening, folks. Hi. Evening! Well, we're just passing through. We took a little shortcut through your woods there. Uh, name's uh, Bryce, Malcolm Bryce. Ah, uh, Chuck Yeoman and this. Oh, he knows who you are, Chuck. Yeah, you're the windsurfer fella. Yeah? <laughs> Word travels uh, fast around here. Don't it, though? Say, how about a nice little bunny for your supper? Oh, thank you, no. Oh, it's no trouble. I got a real nice one in here. Sick. <laughs> No, 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 please, no. <laughs> My lady's the same way, squeamish. Looks like it might cloud up and rain a little bit this afternoon. Getting a little dark up there. Come on along, Malcolm. Hmm? Come on along. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, if you folks need anything, just holler. 
I live right over there next to Dwayne and Ruthie. Nice meeting you. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> Boy, honey, aren't they right off an old cover of the Saturday Evening Post? Mm. It feels like the 1940s. No muggers, no thieves, no locked doors. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel. <laughs> what can I tell you? They're strange. Oh, you dancing devil. <laughs> Give me your answer. Oh, he too. sings too. Here at 7 30. 7 45. Maybe we missed it. I can't be late on day one. Mr. Sloan always forgets this route. Last year he missed Tomahawk Lake 12 times. Excused absences? Yeah, great, huh? Yeah. 12 times. You claim you picked up a dead body. No, I didn't pick it up. It got stuck on my leg. I dragged the damn thing. And you called me. And just a few minutes later, that body picked itself up and walked away. It wasn't a whole body. Oh, well. Mr. Yeoman, sir, you know what could have been was those tall weeds out there. I mean, this leg is full of them. So... It was human. I left the thing right here. I went back to my place, I called you guys, I made myself a drink. Is that before or after you saw the body? After. Chuck? Chuck? It's all right, honey. What is it's, going it's on, on, huh? Hey, afternoon, ma'am. Hello. I'm Glenn Boynton, Sheriff of Tomahawk. This here's my deputy, John Bryce. Yeah. Oh, Malcolm's son? Yes, ma'am. What is happening here, fellas? Well, Mr. Yeoman thought he saw something in John. the lake. There's a dead body here. What? Body. Bodies don't come and go as they please. This one did. Who could it have been? Well, when that woman disappeared last what year. What you probably saw was a log. Blake plays tricks with your eyes. Could have been anything. Boots, jackets. <laughs> During the summer, this place becomes a regular lover's lane. I've come across, well, discarded blouses and just the damnedest things. I saw a body. Mr. Yeoman, I will look into it. But I haven't got much to go on. The 
coming, John? No. I'll walk. Here, honey. John? It's a beautiful view you got here, ma'am. It's fabulous. Real nice. Yeah. So, John, 